Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a page in this beautiful book here. This is Book Tadium, a special edition coloring book. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a special book <laughs> by Maria Tro. I picked this page here. It's got snails on it, two little <laughs> snails, and kind of a real pretty picture. So I thought I'd be able to get it uh, started at least today. Um, these little flowers here are on the front cover in this purple kind of coloring. I love that color. In fact, I love this whole page. <clears throat> if I had time today, I would uh, do this page, but I have to paint the background um, because in this book it doesn't come in the black. Where is it? Right here. And I just don't feel like, um, painting today. <laughs> so we're going to do this one here. And I'm going to do those in kind of that purpley color because I like that purple. And a dark greens and browns. And we got some mushrooms down here and some berries of some sort. Do we have berries on the front cover? No. Bummer. But don't you just love that gold butterfly? Anyway. <laughs> Purple colors, uh, purples, I don't know, probably take three colors of purple or just two colors of purple. Get this medium one out of here and a white because the tips might have a lighter color in them. There we go. Okay. So we have, um, manganese violet. This is crimson. Hopefully it's purple and a uh, white. Let's get a piece of paper out just to test. <laughs> One would think it's not that hard to get out a piece of paper. There we go. Okay, so the darkest purple, that kind of works. A lighter. That's almost red, so we don't want that one. Let's see this one. Oh, I don't even know if that's a change of color. Those are so close. That could be the darker color, but it's purple, purple. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Here we go. What's this one? Okay, that's violet. We'll put that one away for a second. And what is this one? Purple violet. Okay. And then a white. And we'll see. We're just going to switch it to the uh, front cover. That's pretty close. It's kind of pink on here. We could probably bring in a pink. Yeah, I think I'll keep it white. I think that choice is good. So we have purple, violet, violet, and white. And since I have those out here, Besides sharpening them, I'll go ahead and color those <laughs> uh, flowers up if I can hold on to my pencils. Sorry. Okay, which one's the darkest one? <clears throat> Purple violet. We're going to start at the top. Kind of exaggerate these lines coming up. Start at the top and bring that color down. Could probably get away with just the two colors. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you're all well. Okay. 
bring in the um, violet here. And then the white. back over it with the violet just very lightly Again with the purple violet. And there we have a little flower. <laughs> How exciting, huh? Maybe if I get you down a little tilt the camera we'll do another little we'll do the bud up here so in with the purple violet in with the violet In with the white. Back in with the violet. And the purple violet. And there we go, but we'll do this little one on this side. So just draw that line up, and that one up, and we're going to pull that one up. Okay, a little pressure coming down the side, and then just lighten it coming out. Same on this side. And in the middle. Now in with the violet. Go over that. Bring it out. And the white. Could do this with any um, pencils, by the way. Any three uh, Prismas would work probably really good doing this because they smush and the white would just blend really nice. Pick a dark, a medium, and a very, very light color. And you have three shades there. Okay, there we go. We got three flowers already done. I'll do the other three off camera. We're going to get um, some of this fern going here. So, let's see. 
my favorite colors and a deeper I don't know this one goes in backwards so I don't know why it's a pine green let's see what we got okay that kind of works so we have pine green chrome green opaque and olive green yellowish <laughs> so we're going to go in with the pine green we'll start here just going to go up the center with that up a little bit of the leaf And down a little of the leaf. Next color is going to be the olive green. I don't know which one that I use here. Yep. Okay. Chromium green opaque. Go over that color and bring it out. Try not to be as messy as I am. <laughs> and then the um, olive green yellowish. I'm going to go back in with the pine green. Just kind of darken it down here. Okay, get our eraser and erase that up a little bit. There's a little bit that I went out of the line with. There we go. I'm going to take a tiny bit of um, what did you? Chrome oxide green. Just deepen that up down at this end. Because I want it darker here. I'm going to color a little bit of this stem. I want a variation, so I'm only going to color a little bit of it. We're going to take it all the way down to the snail guy here. And it's in here. A little bit here, a tiny bit here. <laughs> and then it comes through here. Yeah, it's going to go this way. And then we will take the other one up there, whatever color, and we're going to take it from this guy over on that side. There we go. All right. And we'll do a little tip up here. And we'll just kind of lightly fill in those areas. We're going to do it with a different color, but we want it to blend. So we'll get the um, olive green yellowish and blend that right on top of that.
Oops, went out of the lines again. <laughs> there we go. Get nice and darker down here. And did I get some up here? There we go. Okay. Chromium green in there. Let's do that lightly and then we're going to grab and drop <laughs> the other color. Hold on. The green gold. <laughs> We're going to put some of that in there too. Okay. I'm going to throw a little of that in some of these little petals. Just on the top side. Okay. We're just going to start with that on some of these. Doesn't have to be on all of them. So we want a nice texture going up here. Okay. Then we're going to go in with our colors again. Um, pine green first. Keep going down all these little fronds. Um, same way, but I mean, you get the hint, right? So go in with the green opaque.
This is going to take some time. <laughs> I don't know if the tiny ones are easier or harder. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, I need a little sip of tea. And we're gonna go in with the um, olive green yellowish. Okay, then we're going to go in with the um, chrome oxide one. And just deepen these ones close to the stem. pressure on this color because I want it to stand out. last one here then I'm going to leave the rest of that for off camera sorry but this page has got a lot of little tiny details in it I like that little bit of yellow in it I think that looks good little highlight on the little frond pieces. Just add a little tiny bit of green in there. That looks pretty. So I'll finish the rest of those little poof poof poofs. Um, I think we're going to use uh, three of these greens, not all of them, in the uh, little greenery here. So I'm going to pick the green opaque and the um, chrome oxide green, I think, along with some of the green gold. 
to give it a little highlight. So we'll stick the highlights in first. Put a little of that there. It's a baby leaf. Put a little in here on the curl. This leaf, this side, a little in here. I'm guessing that's its leaf. And then if we follow it down, it goes down in there somewhere. <laughs> okay, then we're going to bring in the uh, chrome green opaque and kind of go over that. Okay, then we're going to go in with the um, chrome oxide green and in my darkest spots I'll be putting that in. I think I want a little sharper point on that. Set the other ones down. Okay, I'm going down in here. Oh, and there's a little tiny bit down in here. <laughs> okay, uh, what did I do with the pencils? I'm going to go back over with the green gold and just put a little more pressure on that. There we go. And if you want, you can add a little bit of the uh, green, um, chromium green opaque. Leaving the yellow highlight, but adding a little extra green into it. And I think that looks good. All right. Um, so we've done the flowers, the stem, the tip of that. We've got mushrooms, we've got grass, and we've got this berry stuff. I always get confused about berries. We don't have um, the red berries, the currants and stuff over here. We just have like blueberries and holly berries and... <sighs> could make them kind of a yellowish reddish berry I guess that would kind of go with our theme here but we're gonna go with a um, snail why not snail is gonna bring in a little bit of um, pink um, let's see 
I have those colors not in here. <laughs> I'm going to sneak them out from over on this side. It's doing a, another page, and I took all these out. These are the skin color type, a medium flesh, cinnamon, dark, and light flesh. So we're going to go in with light flesh first, and we're going to put it on him. And in the dark, or the deep, um, <laughs> there's valleys and hills here. So we have a valley and a hill and a valley and a hill. The valley, the hill, the valley. We're coloring in the valleys, okay? <laughs> there we go. Leaving the hills alone. We want those to be lighter. Okay. Oh, he's cute. I hope you can see him. Did, was I in when I told you about the hills and the valleys? There we go. We're going to put just a tiny bit of this in the shell. So we want that kind of a highlight. The shell is the top because um, the shell goes down. I want to put that on the top of that. We're also going to do the little dude down here real quick because he's small. This guy's got more detail. I'm going to bring in um, cinnamon here. Shade in the area under his shell. Deepen those little valleys just down at the foot. And right along here where his body kind of tilts into his foot. Okay. One side of the eyes. His little mouth. And bring that up. We'll take a little of that and just darken this side closer to his shell. In here, okay. We're going to leave that one and the cinnamon out those two away and get out some brownish tones. And whatever you are. Okay, so I pulled out burnt ochre, burnt sienna, and brown ochre. So we're going to put some brown ochre right on the base of this line. Bring it around. And then blend it out into that cinnamon right in here and bring it out. I'm going to follow that down. Put a tiny bit of this in here and down in there. Tiny bit down there again on the little feet parts. All right. This is the burnt ochre. Go over those same spots again.
Okay, down in here. Just very lightly on this edge. Tiny bit down in here. Now we're going to bring in the um, burnt sienna. Just going over the same spots. Over and over again. And we're going to bring in one dark, dark, dark. Um, which one should I pick? Uh, we'll go with the Van Dyke Brown and we'll see what that does. Maybe a little sepia in here would be good too. Feet. Just darken up some areas down there. Okay, we need to bring in A little bit of that green gold that we have going on all over the page. So we're going to stick that in our highlight. Just a little bit on him, too. Oh, we should have been doing all this on this little shell down there, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're going to throw a little bit of... Could put mortem in here.
just going to drop everything here at the edge of the desk. Uh, I can throw a little bister in it. bit of yellow ochre. Bring back in the burnt sienna. We're going to go back in and move some stuff here. I have it all sitting here. It's going to fall. The yellow ochre. Do, do, do sepia here. We're just going to darken this really dark in this area. some of that across here. him body a little bit more. I'm going to throw a little green in here too. We're going to pull in some 
olive green yellowish. There we go. I like that. Okay, our little guy. We're going to, on our hills, add in some white. Just in those areas. So no matter what color we put in there, it's going to be lighter. And up here. On him. A little white in here for a shine. There we go. Okay, back to uh, his coloration. Uh, go back in with the uh, light flash. Right on top of that white area. And then across the feet here. Just blending it in. Very light touch. It's going over the white and keeping it nice and light. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of the um, cinnamon here. He's cute. <clears throat> Let's see his eyes. Doo -doo -doo. Well, we just kind of leave him, I guess. I guess I could put a tiny little bit of blue in there if I can get a tiny little bit of blue in there. <laughs> uh, let's see. You're nice light. Real sharp point. That's not even close. There we go. <laughs> Tiny little bit of blue in here. And then go over it with white. And we can touch up these hills here. And he's done. Okay. I think that's about all I can do today. When I come back, this little guy here will be finished. And I'll do the other purple flower over here the same way we did these guys over on this side. And then we'll come back, we'll finish this little dude and these berries and hopefully these uh, mushrooms. 
And I'm going to try to do that butterfly like that gold butterfly on the beginning of the book. I think that would look cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye now.